السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب الشلي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لغدة من لساني يفقه قولي So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen we are back after Ramadan and <clears throat> we started with this book uh, of Sarf and this is a very detailed book of Sarf it's like uh, this book is enough for a beginner inshallah and as well as intermediate student inshallah ta'ala one catch all book for Sarf inshallah ta'ala um, so it's not in, uh, it's not like an advanced book it's not a beginner book it's an intermediate book i would say so we started with this book because uh, it has a lot of exercises and uh, it doesn't go into a lot of uh, differences of opinions and stuff okay so let's begin uh, again this rule we talked about muqaddima bi taqsim al afal wal asma it's a good book really yes it's a very good book i learned stuff from this book itself um previously i it was like something else alhamdulillah and uh, we learned about al asma al mutamakkina ghair mutamakkina that is asma is mu'rab and mabni it's called mutamakkina ghair mutamakkina so we learned that maximum letters in a noun is seven letters and maximum letters in a verb is six letters now and we learned mujarrad and mazid like uh, three letter verbs mujarrad and then if you keep adding it become mazid uh, mazid uh, verbs now we have some rules of i'lal i'lal and we have eight rules of i'lal we did five of them i think so let's look at them again i have five of them so first rule is Ilal <clears throat> means what weakness. So because of some weakness, we are changing the letters themselves. So the first rule is ida tahara ka halful illati. This is the most famous rule. Ida tahara ka halful illati. When fataha ma qablahu yuqlahu alifan. So this is like qawla, <clears throat> qaf, wow, lam. Correct. Now ida tahara ka halful illa. Halful illa means wow and ya, and alif also. But here it is wow. Uh, so This has an halakano, and the previous letter has a fatha, so this will be changed into an alif. Qala. This will be changed into qala. Um, and yeah, that's it. This is the first rule which we talked about. Ida tahara ka halful illati wa nfatha ma qabla u yuqlabu alif, and it will be changed into an alif. So what is this alif? This is a wow. And why was it changed into an alif? Because the halful illa has a halakano, and the previous letter has a fatha. and it does not happen if it uh if the previous letter has uh, if the following letter is a sukun so wa yusamma dhalika i'lalan bil qalb it is called i'lal bil qalb you're changing letters called i'la bil qalb qalb means changing wa la yahdathu qalbun fi misl bayan aw hayat li anna ma ba'da harf al lati sakin so if after the harf al illa is a sakin it won't happen like the alif here has a sukun right so it won't happen that okay that is an exception bayan and hayat Then the second rule is ida tahara ka halful illati. Okay, same. The halful illa has a haraka again. Wajaa qablahu halful sahihun sakin. And the previous letter is a sahih. It's not a weak letter. Hmm. Ah, fa inna haraka ta halful illati. So the haraka of the halful illa is tun qalu ila sahih sakin. So what you do is you will transfer to the sahih sakin. For example, yaqulu. It was actually yaqulu. Yeah, and inshallah we'll do the exercises today. It'll become more clear all these rules, um, and you should also try because it's all about practice, huh? It's like mathematics. Unless you practice, you won't get it. So yakvulu, yakvulu. So what we did is that the hara ka halful illa. Okay, halful illa has a hara ka. It's a it's a damma. Wa jaa qablahu halful sahih un sakin. And the previous letter is a half sahih sakin. That means it is not a weak letter. It is sukun. It was actually yakvulu. I mean. This is a sukun, huh? This is a sukun. Yakvulu. So yakvulu. Uh, so what we'll do is, for in the halakata halful alyati tun khalu ila. This will be moved here because it's more stronger to carry, no? So it'll become yakvulu. Wow, we'll get a sukun. This is the second rule. 
And this is called i'lal bin naql. You are just transferring the haraka to other person, other letter. I'lal bin naql. Then we have another short rule. If the haraka is with the fatha, wajaa qablahu sahihun sakin. So the previous letter is a sahih sakin. Fatun qalu haraka tul mu'tal ila sahih. So first you will do once, there will be two steps here. If it is with a fatha and the previous letter is has a sukun. So what you'll do is you'll take the halful mortal, you'll take transfer it, and then you'll change the halful illa into an alif. For example, double rule here. Hmm? Aqama. So it was actually aqwama. Correct? So idan fataha halful illa. Halful illa has a fatha? Yes. Yes, it has a fatha. So first thing you'll do is you'll change the fatha. It'll become aqawma. Now what you'll do is change the vow to an alif. It become aqama. It became a karma. Two, two step procedures. You have to do two steps operation. Hmm? This only happens if it is a fatha and the previous letter has a sukun. Only for fathas, hmm? nothing else. Hmm? So, akwama. You'll do it for akwama. So, remember this side rule. Hmm? So, yakafu, how did it become an alif? So it was, you have to say, it was actually first yakhwafu, because yaf'alu, right? And then first we gave a fatah, and then it got changed into an alif. Hmm? All right. That was all about idha taharraka halfulillah. Two rules, huh? taharraka. Now, idha tatarrafa halfulillah. If the halfulillah is coming at the end, it's coming at the end, after alif za'ida. There's an extra alif, and it comes at the end. So not every end, but after Alif Za'ida. So two conditions should meet. It should come at the end and after Alif Za'ida. You can remember the example for this Du'avu. Hmm? So Du'avu is, Du'avun is actually on the pattern of Fu'al. So if you take the root letters, Du'avun. Correct? Du'avun. So does the weak letter come at the end? Alfulillah? Yes. It does it come in after an extra Alif? That means it's not a part of a root letter. No, Obviously, Alif is never a root letter. So what you'll do is, it becomes dua un. Tuliba hmm? hamzatan. It'll become hamza. Uh, dua un. Or binayun. Banayabni is to build. So binayun. So it'll become bina un. Because it's easier to pronounce, eh? obviously. Uh, istifa un. Uh, safa yasfu or istifa yastafi. It becomes, it's actually a wow. So it'll become istifa un. will become istifa un. Choosing someone. Istira un purchasing. Istira yun becomes shara yashri. It becomes istira un. Hmm? So tatarrafa halfu lila. Tatarrafa taraf means edge, right? Half is also an edge. Taraf is also an edge kind of. Huh? The end. Uh, so tatarrafa is to come at the end. This is the third rule. And the fourth rule is Hamza's rule. Two Hamzas are coming. So idha stama hamzatan wa thaniyatu minhuma sakina. So what happens? Two hamzas are coming. Hmm? One and was So one has a fatha and the other has a sukun. So what you'll do? So you'll change, you'll change the second one, which has a sukun, into half mad. And what are half mad? Alif wa ya. But which one will you do? Alif wa ya will change. Min jinsi harakatin of the same haraka of the first one. So if this has a fatha, it will change into an alif. So ah ah, it will become like this. So I'll write it like a mad ah mana. So this ah mana, it was like this like this. So ah mana. So now two hamzas came, and you have to change the second one. Second one is a problem because ah mana we don't want to say. So it will become ah mana ah mana or uh. <clears throat> I'man, I'man. This has a kasra, no? So I'man is like this. I'man. So I'man is okay. We can't do like this. Yeah. It'll become I'man. I'man become I'man. So, إِذَا اجْتَمَعَ حَمْزَةً وَالثَّانِيَةُ مِنْهُمَا سَاكِنَا قُلِي بَتِ السَّاكِنَةُ حَلْفَ مَدِّنْ مِنْ جِنْسِ الْحَلَكَةِ مَا قَبْلَهَا this is what the rule is. It will become Iman here. You can see Iman. Inshallah, we'll do some exercises. It will become more clear. Inshallah ta'ala. <clears throat> Fifth rule. 
اذا اگین اینڈنگ رول ہے اذا تطرف حرف لله بس دس از اونلی فار واو اذا تطرفت الواو بعد كسر دات واز اذا تطرف حرف لله اني حرف لله دات از واو يا اف ات كمز افتر الف زائده ات ويل تشينج انتو ان حمزه بت هير اذا تطرفت الواو بعد كسر سو واو از كومينج ات ذا اند اند افتر ذا كسره ويل بي تشينج انتو يا ريمبر ذا وور بيتوين واو اند يا هو وينز اول ذا تايم It is ya who wins. Ya is stronger than wow, huh? and we'll see in the following rules also. Wow and ya always ya wins, hmm? and kasra and damma fights always kasra wins. Uh, so remember ya wins. So if the tatarrafatil wow wow is coming after kasra, so after kasra if Arabs don't like saying if, so it will be changed into a ya. So wow is changing into the enemy, which is the ya. For example, adai. Da'i was actually da'yadu, right? So fa'il pattern. So da'iv and da'ivun change into. So tatarrafatil wow. The wow is coming at the end after kasra. So you'll change into a ya. It become da'i. So it become man mankus. So you have to say ad da'i. Or if you're saying without da'i, the ya runs away. No, it becomes da'in with a tanwin. Al raji to hope. Al hadi. This is like eleven al hadi asha. This is not hadi with a ha with a ha. It's ha. Well, aslu al daiv. It was actually daivun, rajivun, hadivun, hadivun from wahid. No, this is hadiv. And we learn later on why this happened. This is like a wahid. The wow, uh, the fa kalima came at the end. So there's a change. Arabs change it. Um, the letters they change the order also in here. Al hadiv. واحد it become hadi hadi asha for eleven so this is the fifth rule fifth rule sixth rule from now on we'll look into it insha Allah Taala number six there are eight rules totally in a ilal insha Allah we'll repeat them at the end of the book again don't worry it it might be too much because but we need a lot of practice to understand this if you understand this it's a golden thing ah. Huh? <clears throat> uh it will be very easier for you to search in dictionaries um sixth rule idha waqa'atil waw sakinatun ba'da kasrin qulibat ya now there the rule was this is also again waw ya battle there the rule was waw after kasrin it will be changed into a ya this is waw sakina so you might be like what both rules look the same No, there's a slight difference here. The wow is not sakina. It could be anything. We don't care what it is. It the it's at the end. It will generally not have the sukun, right? End words, end letters do not have sukun. Generally speaking, um, so here we don't care about the haraka. So that's why we have to make two rules now. Hmm? But if you want to remember in your mind, any wow after the kasra change it into a ya. Right, both rules you can combine. If it ca- comes at the end, no problem. If it comes in between, the rule is it should be sakina. Mm-hmm. It cannot be for any. If wow has a fatha damma, then the above rules will apply. Like kawala or uh, something, you have to change it according accordingly. But this is only for sakina. In between, if it comes, it should be for sakina. Mm-hmm. It should be with a sukun. Baad akasin puli bat ya, and it will be changed into ya. For example, you can remember this as mizan rule. And this is like a rule of mizan. <clears throat> mizan was from wazana, no? It was actually mevazan. Mevazan. Now, ida wakat wao sakina baada kasrin after the kasra kulibat ya and it became mizan. So this is very common rule. You'll see it all the time. If you don't know this rule, you will be like searching. Okay. Ya is a root letter. No, it's not a root letter here because it was actually a wow, right? I hope I'm not going too fast. Or me ad, for example, me ad, you'll be like, okay, ya ain dal. No, it's not me fal uh, because the fa was actually wow because you have to know it comes from waada to promise. So it was actually me waad, me waad. Ida waqatil wa was sakina tu baada kasrin kuli bat ya an. Hmm, it will be changed into ya. Yeah. Okay, very simple rule, mizan rule. Huh? Remember mizan rule. This and this might be a little confusing, but this wow, tatar rafatil wow, abada kasin, kuli bat yaan. We're not talking about sakina, whatever. It could be anything. 
But here in the middle, if vow comes, it should be a sakina. Because vow with a haraka, then it's a problem. Huh? You have to do something else to it. This is six rule number. Six. Mizan Me rule. Hmm? This is Mizan rule. Seventh rule. Small rules is Ida waqatil vaw awil yaw aynan lismil. This is only for fa'il rule. This is for fa'il rule. If the fa, the ayn kalima, lismil fa'il ala wazni fa'il, kulibat kullun min al wawi awil yai hamzatan. So what happens is this, if you want to make on the pattern of fa'il, and if the ayn kalima is a wow or a ya, you will change this wow or a ya into hamza. For example, qa'il was actually qa'wilun. This is a fa'il rule. Qa'wilun. So qa'wil, they don't like it. So they'll change it into qa'il. If somebody asks you why it became hamza, qa'il, you'll say, this rule is This is same for wow or like by also this hamza is not a root letter. This was actually a ya. Ba So anytime you see the pattern file, be careful. Because it might be a weak letter also. I mean Hamza is in like this ba It was actually ba yeun. That was changed into ba yeah. Royal speaker. This is file rule. I hope this file rule is also simple, right? This is only applicable for file. Only this form. File. If you want to make from qala, qail. You'll be like, where's the wow? You have to say, okay, wow and ya came, came ayn and lismi file. It came as an ayn, ayn kalima. As the ismil file will be changed into hamza. Kulibat hamza. It'll change into hamza. Okay. Last rule. The enemies are meeting now. Last rule is the enemies meeting wow and ya coming together. Right? Previously, wow was getting slaughtered. Here's also wow will get slaughtered. Uh, the two rules of wow, remember, wow at the end after the kasra change into a ya. Wow sakina after kasra change into a ya. And now, if wow and ya come together, wow and ya come and anyone could be sakina, but the first one should be sakina. First one should have sukun. So what you'll do? Kulibatil wow ya and the wow will be changed into a ya. Wherever it happens, sir, wow is already sacrificing so much. One more sacrifice, the wow will become ya, and the ya will do idgham. Wa udghimat fil ya and you'll do idgham. You it'll become with tajdid. For example, my yit, my yit is my wit because it comes from mouth. No meme wow ta. My wit, my wit. Now what happens? It is tamaa waun wa yaun. Well, ula min huma sakin. And the first letter is a sukun, right? So what we'll do is change the wow. <laughs> right? Actually, ya should have been sacrificed, but no, the um, uh, wow is already sacrificed again, and will become mayit. You'll give us sukun, and then you'll give the kasra of this mayit. Sayid was actually sayid from Sada Yasudu to become a leader. Sayyid leader. So Sayyid. So is it, uh, both Wow and Ya came together. Wow has to die. And the Ya will be Idram. Sayyid. So if you don't know this rule, you'll be like, uh, the root letter is Seen, Ya and Dal. No, it's not Seen, Ya and Dal. It is Seen, Wow and Dal. Hmm? Uh, because this is on the pattern of Fai'il. And this Ya is extra. Hmm? Layyin. Layyun. Hmm? It's Lavyun. Lava, Yelvi. I think it's Lava. Lava is to, I don't know what it is. Lava. I know Tawa is to fall. Lava. So let me see. Lava. <coughs> Lava. Lava itu. One second. Lava Yelvi is to crook, curve something, mm. bend. So Layun. Mm. Layun is. A bend, a curve. So it actually from love yun. Love yun, the first has a sukun. Yeah, soft is layin. That is from lana yalinu. That is something else. Both, both are yada. Lana yalinu, yeah. And tayin is from tawa. Tawyun is become tay. The muscle is tawa. Tawa is to fold something. Yawmanatu is sama. 
on that day we will fold the sky kapai sijil lil kutub like a page of a book okay let's come to the exercise so if you want to summarize the eight rules so one rule or two rules are for haraka idha taharraka halful illa third rule is for idha tatarrafatil halful illa ba'da alif zaidatin you will change into hamza uh, then we have one more rule which is uh, changing of the haraka this is the app, give it to the previous letter and uh, hamza's rule one is hamza then we have mizan rule wow two rules of wow wow coming at the end wow sacrifices three rules of wow you can remember three rules of wow sacrificing wow after kasras are there two rules for that and wow after ya or whatever wow after ya ya after wow but the first one has a sukun that is how you do it okay let's see what is happening in the exercise we'll repeat all these rules we'll go very slowly in the exercises and try to understand please let me know if you don't understand anything of what is happening what hmm? unless it is clear we won't move ahead because it's very important these rules are inshallah ta i mean most rules are important but exercises are important yeah bayyin ma hadatha fil kalimat al atiyati min al min i'lal explain or clarify or bayyin wadih ما حدث في الكلمات what happened what happened in the following words in i'lal what are the rules out of the eight rules which rule is applicable here khafa so let's start with khafa what happened here so khafa was actually if you go back to the root letters it was khaf wow and fa khauf khauf is the this thing and then it became khawifa you might be like how do you know it's khawifa um if you want to know you have to look at the mudare khafa the mudare is also yakhafu so any time you see both alifs then you know it's from bab samia like nama yanamu navima yanwamu similarly here this is khawifa yakhwafu so which rule is applicable here rule number 1 ida tatah ida taharraka harful illati The hadful illa has a kasra, has some haraka. It's not a sukun. Wajaa qabla wa hadful wajaa qabla one fatha ma qabla hu and the previous letter has a fatha kulibat alif and it will be changed into an alif. So it became khafa. A very simple rule. First rule. First rule applicable here. Okay. I hope this is clear. Right? Khafa. We are done with khafa. Can anyone tell me Yasumu? Just tell me the rule number. That'll be fine if you remember the rule number. Or you can tell me what happened in Yasumu. Yasumu, which rule applicable here? I mean, just for your understanding. Also, I can do all of them. I mean, no problem. Yasumu, what is happening? Yasumu. Yasumu ida tahara ka halfu lillati wa ja qabla wa halfun sahihun sakin. فإن حركة حرف للتي تنقل إلى الصحيح الساكن قبله. Yes, that's what is the rule applicable. Rule number two, right? Yes, rule number two. Hmm. Rule number two. <clears throat> so يسومو it's on the pattern of يفعلو right? نصرا ينصرو. So yes, yes, وومو. Hmm. So this is what إذا تحرك حرف العلة حرف العلة هذا dhamma wa jaa qablahu harfun sahihun sakin and a strong letter comes which is has sukun so the strong letter will tell you or the weak letter please give me the haraka so the haraka will get transferred that's it so it became yasumu it became yasumu the haraka is transferred because you are strong please carry my dhamma he'll be like okay i'll carry it so he'll carry it. that's it that's the change it's up next we have aana qafa is to fear he feared yasumu he fast aana he held انا اذا تحرك حرف الالتي بالفتح yes this is the 2.1 rule the malhuza the note انا it comes from aun to help aun aun so انا was two things you have to do two double operation اعونا it was actually اعونا on the pattern of afala right form 4 first you have to transfer the haraka so it will become اعونا اعونا And then you'll change into uh, the alif, aana. Uh, so either taharra ka halful illati like a kama, yeah. Aana is like a kama, correct? 
اذا تحرك حرف للتي بالفتح وجاء قبله حرف صحيح ساكن تنقل حرف حركة حرف التي الى الصحيح الساكن وقلبت الفا in short i mean such a long rule but yeah ana so when you're searching for root letters you'll you'll be like okay this alif is never a root letter it was actually a wow du'aun let's look at du'aun what what where's the what's the root letter da'a yad'u it's actually a wow so hamza's coming at the end yeah uh you have to be careful du'aun it was actually du'a'un so if you you have to search for dal ain and wow what is the rule here idha tatarrafa tatarrafa means comes at the end harful illati so the harful illa came at the end ba'da alif in zaidatin not any end after alif which is extra you will change into qulibat hamzatan or qulibah hamzatan du'aun du'aun change into du'aun next we have itharun ithar ithar is to show ithar athara yuthir ithar what happened here ithar isar yes the root letter was a hamza from athara hmm? athara how do you know how do you know well <laughs> Uh, it cannot be wathara. I mean, you can also say it was a wow and it was changed into a kasra. No, yeah, you can do that. But generally, in the starting, if it's a ya or an alif, a halfu mad comes in the starting, it was two hamzas which are coming. Two hamzas which are coming. Ida stama hamzatan, two hamzas coming. Wathani min huma sakin. And the second one was sakina. So, ithar was actually ithar. The root letters hamza, tha, and ra. Ithar. So, what you'll do? You'll change into Hathu Maddin Min Jins Il Harakati Awal Min Jins Il Harakati Ma Qablaha Yeah From the previous one So this has a Kasra So you want to change this right So with which Hathu Madd you'll bring Alif Vau Ya You'll change into a Kasra Ya Because it's this has a Kasra So it becomes Ethar Ethar is to show Athara Yuthiru Is to show benevolence to others Favoring others Wayuthiruna ala anfusim Walau kanu Bihimut Qasas all the verses similar to that. I might be making a mistake. is correct. I think it's Kana. Um, let me check why mistakes. Why you Thiruna Ala and Fusim? Bihim Khasas. One second. The verse is Walaukana Bihim Khasasa. Yeah. Walaukana Bihim Khasas. That means the Ansar they used to prefer others, Muhajirs, even though they are in loss. Intihaun. Intihaun. This is Intihaun, yes. Ida tatarra fa hatful illati bada alif in zaidatin kuliba hamzatan. So the weak letter from naha, yanha, nun, ha, and ya. And this became Intihaun. Intihaun. So the weak letter came at the end. Hatful illa came at the end after an alif. So you have to change into a hamza. Chain into an Hamza. So it became Intihaun. Adda'i. Again, same rules applicable here. Adda'i. Rule number four. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, yeah. Not the same rule, but. If Wow is at the end, after the Kasra, Da'i was Da'iv. Adda'iv. It changed into a Ya. Mina. 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 This is Mivna. Mivna. Ida Wakatil Wau Sakina Bada Kasrin Kulibat Yaan. Mivna. It was from Vanayani. Mivna. By the way, two rules are applicable. Sorry. Mivna. Hmm? Rule six. Mivnayun. Rule six, huh? Yeah, rule six, yes. So original is what? Mifal. So Mivnayun. Yes, yes, rule six. First one is rule six. So the first is a wakatil wa bada kasrin. So the first rule is. 
there's a wow after the kasra. Mivna. So change that into Mina. Mina yun. And the second rule is Ida tatarrafatil hathful illati bada alifin zaidatin. If the hathful illa is after an alif, you'll change into an hamza, no? Duaavun, like that. You'll change into Mina un. It became Mina. <laughs> it's so difficult, no? I mean, inshallah, you'll get used to it. I mean, because. So two rules apply. Yes. Yes. Vana Yani used to become tired. So Meena. Naam. Meena, remember two rules apply. Then Aada, same like Akama. Again, two operations you have to do. Aada is from Aada Yaudu. So Aawada, it's a vow. And then you transferred it and then Aouda it became and became Aada to repeat something. Aada. Aada. Right? I hope till here it's clear. I'm going very slow so that you understand every rule. Yeah, Just a long rule. Even if you don't remember the rules, at least understand the concept of what is happening. This is fail rule. Bayun fail rule. What is the fail rule? Uh, if wow or ya come as ainan list me file. It comes as ayan. So by iun was actually by iun. Yes, rule seven. Ida wakatil wow aw ya ainan list me file. If it comes an ayan, it'll be changed into a hamza. Kuliba hamzatan. Ba iun changed into ba iun. Mayitun. This is two enemies coming. Two enemies rule. Last rule. Yes, rule thir thirteen. I mean rule eight. Yeah, yeah. 13 number, rule it. My wit. My wit. Ida shtamatil wa wa ya. My wit. My wit. Wal ula min huma sakina. And the first one has a sukoon. What we'll do is change the wa. Wa has to die all the time. And this will become a ya again. And then you'll do it ram. It'll become mayit. Mayit. Nama. Nama. Nama is first rule. It was actually Navima, no? Very simple. Navima. Navima. First rule is very simple, inshallah. <laughs> I hope. Even if you don't understand all these rules, first rule is you should understand. Haba. It's from Haba Yahabu. Haiba. Again, rule number one. Haba is from, it's a ya, huh? Hayaba. It was actually Hayaba. How do you know? You look at the dictionary because Hayaba, I know it's Hayaba. So, is a Tahara Kahal for Lillati? It's actually Hayiba. Why, 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 why am I saying Hayiba? Because the Masta is Yahabu again, like Nama Yanamu. So, I said whenever it is both has Alif, you know, it is from Bab Samia. Samia is Mao. So, Hayiba Yahyabu. So both you'll change into an alif. So is a tahara kahal for lilithi wa ja wan fatahama kablu kuli ba alifan. In in ittiqaun. Ittiqaun. So what is happening here? Ittiqaun. Ittiqaun is a tahara kahal for lilithi ba da alifan. Yes. Um. Yes, this is true. But there's another rule which is applicable here, if you remember the previous rule, which is Ibdal, changing the vow to Atha. Remember? So you should remember that rule also. What are the root letters for Ittaqa? It's vow, Qaf, and Ya. Waqa, Yaqi. Naam? Ibdal rule is also applicable if you want. Ibdal means changing the letter, no? If you, even if you don't remember the name. So it was actually Ifti'al, no? If the yun, see if the yun. So first we'll apply the ibdal rule. It happens on if the al no. So this is if the al. 
Uh, so the wow will be changed into a ta. So it will become ittiqa yun. And then we'll apply it. Ittiqa yun. 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 Okay. Then we have miqat. Mizan rul. I'm from wow, qaf, and ta. Ida waqa'ati al-wow ba'da kasrin. It'll be changed into mivqat became miqat. Miqat. Naam? Mivqat. Which rule is this? Wow's rule. Ba'da kasrin khulibat ya'an. Wow sakina. Ida waqa'ati al-wow sakin. This is rule six. Yes, rule six. Mivqat. Aqama is again same like ahana. And the malhuda of 2.1. Akama. Akwama. Okay. All right. I won't explain this, inshallah. I mean, you can see. I hope it is clear. That if taharaka bi hifathin, then first transfer and then change into an alif. Two operation rule. Okay. Second exercise. Hati ma yati ma bayani al asl. Give the following and explain the asl also. Yeah, with first he wants ismul fa'il. So anytime he says ismul fa'il, that means fa'il rule should apply. From Ada, how do you make ismul fa'il? The one who returns, Aidun. And what was the original? Ada ya'udu, it's a wow, so Avidun. Correct? How do you know it's Avidun? Because Ada ya'udu. Naam, Avidun. It became Aidun. With a Hamza. To return. Then we have Nama. Nama. Can anyone give me this small file? By the way, it's a Ya, Nama, Yanmi. To grow. Some say Nama, Yanmu. But it is Nama. It could be Nama, Yanmu also. I mean, Nama, Yanmu. How do you know it's a Vau and not a Ya? We will learn later on, inshallah, if it is an alif in three letters, it's a wow, like da'a. Da'a, it's a wow. That alif indicates it's a wow in three letters, three letter verbs. Da'a, not in four or more, only in three letters. So, nama is actually noon, meme and wow. So, let's make this thing. So, na miv, original is what? Na mivun. And then, إِذَا تَطَرَّفَتِ الْوَاو Wow came at the end after Kasra. You'll change. Naimun? No, not Naimun. One second. Naimun. Naimun. You'll change it to what? Naimun. Like Da'i. Naimun. And you have to say An-Naimun. The growth. Something which is growing. An-Naimun. Manhus it will become. So if you are removing Alif Lam, you have to say Na Min. The Ya also runs away, no? Qadin, Al Qadi. So if it is, if you see a Nami, you might think, oh, it is Noon, Meme, and Ya. No, it is a Wow. It comes from Nama Yanmu. I mean, you won't know. You have to look at the dictionary here because you have to guess because it could be Nama Yanmi also, and it becomes the same Nami. Because Qadin, right? Al Qadi from Khada Yaqdi. So you won't know. Because small file is same for Nama Yanmi is to grow. Nama Yanmu is also to grow. The meaning is the same. Nami, yes. Okay. Small file you are creating. So file pattern. Sa'a. Sa'a. Again, anytime you see Haful Illa at the end, remember it's like Manqus. So it becomes Asa'i. I mean, nothing is happening here. Asa'i. Uh, it was actually, uh, yeah, it was actually Sa'iun. I mean, the, uh, the Ya does not have a Haraka now. Asa'i will give a Ya Sukun, the one who's striving. Asa'i or Sa'in. There's nothing happening here from all the rules. It's just Manqus is applying here. Manqus means a Ya comes at the end, no? So you won't pronounce the Haraka. It'll become with a Sukun. You'll not say Sa'iun, you'll say Sa'i. That's it. Ba to sell. This is also on the pattern of 
فاعل سو فاعل رول ابلاي بايع اصله بايع نعم اذا وقت واو واليا عينا لاسم فاعل اف ات كمز از عين از اسم الفاعل ولي با همزه تن ال تشين تو همزه so this is actually and this was the original i hope it is clear till now inshallah and these are complicated rules huh? but i try to simplify unless you practice you won't go so do this as homework again was no mifal you want mifal so remember any time he says mifal so mizan rule will apply hmm? that means wow sakina after kasra change into ya wasana wasana mizan i mean first one is mizan waqa waq waqata oh, i don't know the verb of waqata is it waqata i think it's waqata uh no i'm not able there's no verb i think uh oh, one second sorry i didn't search properly uh waqata is used yeah form 2 is used form 1 is not used but there could be a verb waqata yawqatu or so waqata is used to appoint a time so just from the root letters waw qaf and ta you have to say miqatun and then waw is coming after kasa you'll change into miqat miqat appointed time miqat or place it could be place also no miqat meeting point from wana yani to weaken wana yani mi na two rules are applying here remember two rules mi na yun first is waw is coming after the kasra change into a ya and then second is the weak letter is coming at the end after alif zaida will change into hamza it so will become mi na we just did it again oh mi na un two rules are applicable waada can anyone do waada we want mifal pattern from waada mifal anyone so it'll be mev ad originally again wow is coming after the kasra change into mi ad wow kill the wow all the time mi ad nam ahsan mi ad appointed time again promise time like waqata same thing mi qat we mi ad wathiqa have trust so the covenant itself is called me thaq so many times it comes so me thaq we dakhadna me thaqakum me thaq so if you don't know this rule you will think okay ya tha and qaf no this is mizan rule me wathaq from wathiqa yathiqu is to have confidence wathiqa is to put faith in someone or something so it comes me thaq covenant itself me thaq اتاخذنا ميثاقكم اوكي نيكست هي وانتس المدارع للمتكلم مدارع للمتكلم اني تايمز هي سيز ذس تو همزاز رول ويل ابلاي انا بيكوز مدارع متكلم ويل هاف تو همزاز نو سو امنا هي وانتس مدارع سو فيرست ميك ان مدارع امنا از يؤمن بتا همزه يؤمن اند ان هاف تو سي انا اي ويل بيكم اؤمن نو Oh, me no, and then it is the ma Hamza Tan. Two Hamzas are coming together, and what you do is Vathani min huma sakina, and the second one has a sukoon, so we'll change into halfu mads. And what will be the halfu mad? Begin sil halakati, awal, right? The first ones, so it'll become oh min. I believe will be oh min. <laughs> yeah. So you should not say oh min. You have to say oh min. I believe. Oh, me no. Oh, me no, Billah. I believe in Allah. 
generally we use amantu billah that is past tense i believed but if you want to say i believe now oh minu billahi wa rasuli alan ya fil mustaqbal not we can't say fil mustaqbal yeah now then you have akala akala ya akulu and then i eat what will be i eat Ah, kulu. Yes. Again, though it has a fatha, so we'll make it mad. It was actually an alif. Uh, so mad means what? Mad means uh, it's like this. Ah, kulu. Hmm? Hamza plus alif mad half mad. So you'll give a like this. You'll make it like this. Ah, kulu. Just to avoid confusion. And ah, thara. Ah, thara. You thiru. You prefer the others. You thiru. So u thiru. Now it'll be a vowel like u minu. Then Amara, Amara ya muru, like akala. Amar, amuru. I command you, amuru ka, with a mad, amuru. Two Hamza's rules. Amuru. Yes, I command you, amuru ka. He wants mustar from all these things. So mustar means generally mizan rule is applicable. Oh, Hamza's rule also could be applicable. Uh, here it's Hamza rules because it's all starting with Hamza. So starting with Hamza means Hamza. Uh, again, you have to change it to half umad. Ah, mana. It be, it was iman. Two Hamzas coming and then has a kasa, so it'll be changed into a ya iman. Mm, iman. Ah, thara. Ithar. All have same. Ithar. It becomes ithar. Yeah. Preferring others. Au kafa. Au kafa. Aukafa. This is uh, ifal pattern. Master is on the pattern of ifal, so it will be ifqaf, ifqaf, and the wow is coming after the kasra. So here, no, not the hamza rule. Wow after the kasra. Wow sakina after the kasra it will come iqaf, iqaf. Aukafa is to stop someone else, no? Aukafa iqafing, iqaf is stopping something else. Au ada. From four, from wada. I don't know what it means. Aw ada. I think same promise something. Threat. <laughs> from four is from one. Wada and aw ada both means to promise. Hmm. Appointment. Make an appointment. Aw adu ka. Promise. Same like wada. He says the meaning is. So aw ada. So you have to make if al pattern master this because this is from four. No Islam if al. So if add, it'll become e add. Yes, e add. Appointment e add. Any more? Wadih. Naam. Okay. He wants the aslul alif. Fi. He wants the aslul. What's the original of alif? First one is ajal. This alif, what is original? Ajal. So this is you have to know because Alif is never never something. I mean never a root letter. So Ajal, the Hamzas, two Hamzas rule are applicable. It was actually Ajal. It's, so you say the Aslul Alif is here is Hamza. So if you want to search in a dictionary, you have to search for Hamza Jim Lam. Huh? Yeah, it's not a vow. Why will it be a vow? If it was Aujal, for example, if you think Aujal, what we can do? We can't do anything. There's no rule applicable in Aujal. Because wow is sukun. It's not a previous, it's a kasra. It's not a kasra, it's a fatha. It's not tahara kahalfullah. It's not, we can't do anything. Aujal is Aujal. I mean, if you assume like that. There's no rule applicable in Aujal. It's from Ajila Yajalus to Hari. And that you make, uh, to delay is Ajala Yojalu. Like Amana Yomino. To delay something, Ajala. Like Ajala, uh, similar meaning. Ajala is also to delay. So, Ajal, delaying something, deferring. Okay. Raja. Now, this is simple. If you know the rule, it's simple. The rule is for three letters. I'm not talking about Sulathi, Mujarrad, Mazid, whatever. I'm talking about Salatatu Huruf, Fakat. 
three letters. You see three letters. The last one is an alif. No, it's a wow. Khalas. It's from Raja Yarju. Hmm? Raja Yarju. So, Ra, Jim, Wow. How do you know? It's written like an alif. So, Arabs were smart. They were like, we'll write it in like an alif. The alif will tell us it's a wow. Hmm? No need to guess here. Istafa, but not for more than three letters because it won't look good. Um, so, Istafa. Uh, Istafa, what is the alif? Now you cannot guess. Istafa, you cannot guess. You have to look in the dictionary because from the script, it could be a wow, it could be a ya. We don't know. It's more than three letters. But we know it's from Safa Yasfu. It's a wow. Hmm? The alif is written as a ya, but it's not a ya here. It's a wow. Because, yes, it's a wow again. How do you know we look at dictionary? We have to guess both. And by the way, another rule is happening here, no? Is tafa is exactly the sa, da, da, and no, comes, will change into wa, will comes, will change the ta to a ta, no? Ibdal rule. Now, changing the ta to a ta. Ibdal is tafa. Then we have waqa. What is this alif? We know three letters. Khalas. It's written like a. Ya, ya without darts. It's a ya itself. So it's a ya. Waka yaki, yaki. We can see the ya. Now, waka yaki. So we can see the ya. That's rare. Ishtara. You don't know here. Ishtara, you cannot guess. But if you know the verb, you have to search for both in the dictionary because you cannot guess. It's from Shara Yashri. So. We know it's a ya here. Because the font, the script will not tell us. Because for four letters and more, you have to write it like a ya without dots. You cannot write it like an alif. Hmm? It's not allowed. So, ishtara is from shara yashri. It's a ya. Amal. Same like ajal. What is the origin of the hamza? I mean, the alif is a hamza. Is ashtama hamzatan. If two hamzas come, watani minu masakin. And the second one is sukun. So we'll change into half of muds. Minjin se hawakati awalihima. From the first one. Naha. Okay, can anyone tell me last one? Very easy. Naha. Naha yanha. Is it a wow or a ya? Wow? Wow? Yeah, it's a ya. It's written like a ya, no? Three letters. Yeah, yeah. Nah, no issues. Uh, all right, with this, we are done with all the ilal rules. Let us summarize again, inshallah, because we might will forget it next week. But I hope at least one or two will remember. But we'll keep repeating these rules all the time. Whenever we try to see them, we'll repeat them. Do you know the word radia? Yeah, yeah. Radia yarba. Is it wow in the root? Yes, it's a wow. That's an exception. Yes. Yes, it's from Ridwan. Yeah, there are few exceptions like that. Duha is also like that. Duha. What Duha? Because it comes from Uthmani script. Um, Uthman, he wrote it like that. That's why it's like that. Huh? Duha is also from Daha Yadhu. Only few words. Two, three words. Like I mean, from what I know. It's just Shad. Nah. Because why? Because some of the tribes they used to read it like what do hai? We have Imala, no, in some in some khilat. What do hai wal layli ida saje. So he wrote it as a ya nam nam. Okay. The very few. Inshallah. But ninety-nine percent, anytime you see all uh, it's written, like a ya, it's a ya. Like an alif, it's a wow. Radia is Ridwan, yeah. You have to know the mustard. It's Radiva. And then it was written like a yeah. Inshallah, next class we'll do Mukaddima Filmizan is selfie. Uh, we'll actually start self actually saying uh, this is where the, all the books start. Mizan Sarfi. They teach Ilal at the end. So we'll also learn them again. Ilal, a few more rules, maybe. But uh, most of it is we are done with the Ilal. And what were the rules? If you want to don't want to see what what is happening just logically if you want to understand intuitively uh, first is 
Vow or ya has a haraka and the previous letter has a haraka. Hmm? So you'll change it to an alif. So first job you're doing is changing into an alif. The second job is changing the haraka. Hmm? You can remember one is qawala. Next is yakvulu. Two rules are applicable here. Then another rule, aqama rule. Hmm? You're doing two things here. Um, aqawla, it was actually aqawla, I mean aqwala. And then first you'll transfer and make it aqawla and then you'll change this to I mean, not akhol, akhama, I mean, akhama. You'll change it to a meme. You'll do two things here. First, transfer the fatha to the previous. It only happens with fatha. And change it into an alif. Next, what was the third rule? I forgot. Rule number three. Tatarrafa halfulillah. Halfulillah comes at the end, after alif and zaida. So you can remember... Uh, Dua wun. Hmm? Dua wun. Halfulillah at end, yes. Dua wun becomes changed into a hamza. So here, halfulillah is becoming end. Hmm? And that is rule number three. Then hamza's rule, amana, you can remember amana is amana. Two hamzas coming, change into halfumad. Iman, amana, hmm? anything of believing. Yes, two hamzas together. And rule number five is wow. Two rules for wow getting killed. I mean, three rules are there totally. Wow getting killed. One is wow at the end. Wow at the end. Uh, da'i. Again from dua. It, da'iv. It was actually da'iv. So it became ad-da'i. Uh, ad-da'i. Wow at the end. Getting killed after kasra. And the mizan rule. Hmm? This is mivzan became mizan. Wow sakina after kasra changed into a ya. So wow getting killed again. And next wow and ya. Enemy rules. Two enemies coming together. And uh, mayit. We can remember mayit rule. Hmm? My with it was actually wow and ya coming together. So ya always wins. Ya wins and you do idram into mayit. Hmm? And the last rule is that's it, no? Yeah, that's oh it's my file rule. I forgot file rule, rule number eight. Um uh, it was actually here. But anyways, I'll write it at the end. Um, file rule. Anytime it comes, wow or ya comes as file, ain. So it'll become you can remember the same verb like ka'il. Hmm? Ka'il. So this is not a Hamza. In a file, it will be changed into Hamza. Now, so ultimately, wow, weak letters are getting changed into an Alif, a Kala. And then you're transferring Harakas or you're changing them into Hamzas. Like here, you're changing into Hamza. And here, uh, wow is changing into a Ya. It's all wow rule. Again, here it's changing into a Hamza. So you can either change into an Alif, change into a Hamza or change into a Ya. Never ya will become wow. It will not happen. Wow, ya will never become wow. Wow will become ya. And we have three rules for that. Mizan rule, mayit rule, and then uh, I mean, two two rules. I mean this rule also. Three rules, yeah. Da'i rule. Okay. With this, we are done with Ilal. If you understand this, it's wonderful to understand so many words. And you can see it all the places. Uh, especially the first rule is very common. So, first rule, if you remember, that's good. And open up so many things, inshallah. Uh, there are some rules in Mizan Sarfi, inshallah. We'll look at them. Um, Mizan Sarfi means what? How do you put a scale to the words? You might be like, it's very easy. Mifal, faal. Yes, most of the time it's easy. There are some rules. Take, for example, qala. Qala. What is the scale for this? You might be like, fala. No, it's not fala. Uh, this we don't see whenever it's changed into an alif, we don't see. We say it is on the pattern of fa'ala. We say fa'ala, right? We don't consider a'lal bil qalb. So there are some rules where we have to say the scale is fa'ala rule. Because fa'ala, you'll mean like, okay, this alif is extra. No, it's not extra. It's just a root letter, which was ayn actually, huh? ayn kalima, which is wow. So some rules are there to put the scale. And once you understand how to put a scale, very easy to search in the dictionary. Hmm? Like Mizan, it was actually Mifal. So where's the Fa Kalima? Fa was a wow, which changed into a Ya. So you'll search for Wow, Za, and Noon in the dictionary, inshallah. Jazakallah khairan, we'll do Mizan Sarfi in the next class. And then we'll start. Uh, Mizan Sarfi might take us two classes because a lot of rules. And then we'll start with verbs. We'll start with Mithal, rules of Mithal. Uh, in Madina books, we didn't learn any rules. 
But once you learn these rules, you can apply it all the places. Rules of Mithal, rules of Ajwaf, rules of Naqis, how do you conjugate and what is happening where? Um, so Isnad uh, of all Mithal, Mu'tal, rules of Mu'tal verbs, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakallahu khairan, barakallahu feekum, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tublik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.